There's an antibody called N6, which has been studied by the National Institute of Health, and it's, it seems like it's very likely, it destroys most HIV, like 98.5% of all strains of HIV are destroyed. But the problem is, is how do you manufacture this? And, how do you, and it's pretty difficult to mass produce at this point. But our bodies have the machinery to produce these things on their own. So we're taking the gene, which I believe was present in humans naturally, right? Correct. And, but only in a small minority of humans. We're taking that gene and trying to give it to my cells. In other words, um, individuals, uh, very small, essentially, um, one percent. You can imagine the the one percent, and really even less than the one percent of persons currently with HIV, for reasons that aren't really clearly known. These individuals developed a genetic immunity, all on their own after contracting HIV, and their bodies were able to fight off the disease down to undetectable levels. Which, as any HIV patient knows, is the goal of any treatment. Uh, currently, you know, uh, HIV is managed by chronic uh, ongoing treatment. Lab testing on animals and humans have, they've, uh, experiments have injected plasmid-based vaccines through for gene therapy for 40 to 50 years. And in that entire time, there has never been a significant inflammatory response or allergic reaction up until now. So that's part of why I believe this is safe. Shake it, tap it, and flick it, and squirt it up until all the all the air is out. Yeah, tap it to try to get everything down to the bottom. Just try squirt. Just try squirting some of that. Just a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Probably back it's, into the container with yeah, the rest of it. There you go. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. So put push up to make sure all the air is out. There's still a couple bubbles. That's okay. Are they at the bottom? Oh, there we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Point four ml, by the way. All right. So I'm going to probably. In There's still a little bit of air in there. Mm. You can be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna it. it it's not intravenous, so you don't have to be like super cautious, just yeah. reasonably cautious. Air bubbles, all they do is just make it hurt. There we go. Cool. That looks good. All right, so I'm, pro I'm gonna try to shoot to do half of it on one side of my stomach and then the other half on the other side. And in theory, the, these fat cells will be the ones that will produce the uh, antibody that destroys HIV. First, I want to dedicate this to all the people who have died while not being able to access treatment, even though those treatments were available. Looks good. It's supposed to go nice and slowly. And that's just to allow the therapy to distribute <clears throat> all over the cells without causing too much damage. All right, I think that's about half. for that calming breath. How's that, how's that feel? Mm, doesn't feel bad. Okay. Yeah, just a little, little pinch. Mm. Yeah, I should probably be seated.
is everything. What was that? So, it's not as simple as taking a pill, I admit, but if, it, if this actually works for months or years, then I would say we've made some tremendous progress.